and welcome to the 19th Bo Cameronian Art Awards on set. My name is Miriam and joining me today are Andrew and Ix. The nominees for Best Costume Design, Styling and Makeup in Dance. All right, let's get to it. How are you both today? Good. Good? Good? <laughs> Andrew, yeah? Yes. Good? Okay. Great. Great. Being nominated, very good. Yes. yes, yes, that's the energy that we love. Um, so let's get let's get straight yes. into it. Um, ex, what were some of the uh, crucial elements that that you took um, in order to do costume design and styling for this work? Of course, the more crucial thing is about the context of the the, the mm. piece itself. Actually, what to bring us uh, a journey to connect to the the uh, the people now. Mm. Yeah. And what was the process like for you? Oh, uh, fun. Yeah, because I give a lot of uh, freedom from the. Uh, from the choreographer, Sukim, uh, yeah, it's a uh, like a buddy like that. So yeah. he just keeps so much free, uh, freedom, but somehow too much freedom is a bit <laughs> too free. It's too free. <laughs> <laughs> too much to explore. Uh, I, like, I, I, like, I like some some like framework. So, so I say I can run more creative about it. But when yeah. it's too free, I don't know how to be creative sometimes. <laughs> okay, okay. So so let's talk yeah. about that. how did you maybe how did you choose that this was the style that you were going to go for, this was... Yes, I've had a lot of conversation with the artist, mm. uh, especially the uh, the choreographer, yeah, okay. about what is this about, and actually, especially this piece, uh, these two pieces is mm. about is, uh, old pieces, mm. so it's a reenacting from, uh, from, from that, and how to bring that kind of like, so many years ago, yes. how they met where I went to now. Yes. Yeah, so that one actually, that's why we need to talk to people now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Is there a, a favorite piece that you created? I mean, both are my favorite pieces. Yeah. yeah, both my favorite pieces. So people ask me, uh, I don't know how to choose. Like. <laughs> that's the thing, I don't like to choose. <laughs> but I do like actually, for people to choose, I think, mm, let mm. me do com some comment about it. <laughs> okay, I understand, I understand. Thank you for sharing yeah. that. And Andrew, what about you? How was your process like? Actually, because I'm not, uh, for example, I'm not study fashion or okay. styling itself, but I'm the choreographer of the dance itself. Yes. So I do uh, have the idea about the, my own imagination about how is the piece look like? Mm. And uh, for me, it is very important that choreographer need to know how to imagine what your piece look like on stage. Mm. Artists, yes, I totally uh, agree. Yeah. Because I just know that actually, we both are actually a dance artists. <laughs> I'm, I'm also not very into fashion. I'm not really okay. a trained costume design, yeah. but yeah. we're actually in dance. That's the thing actually, how actually we maybe the dance beat makes sense because we mm. we we understand dance. Mm. Yeah, that's why we come out to project that kind of dance into the movement. That's the reality. Yeah. <laughs> really? really? Yeah, it's true. It's true. We have to. We have to because we we dress like that. How yeah. can how dance like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about that more. This uh. this dance sort of then go like because you're dancers and you and you know your your body reacts differently mm. to different things that you wear. Um, how does it influence? For example, how you choose the fabric itself. Yes. The sifat of the fabric. Okay. And okay. you want to make the movement look flowy. Yes. And you want to show the curve linear of the form of the body. That sounds so sci <laughs> that's so beautifully scientific. Curve <laughs> <laughs> linear. I was like, wow, where are we going with this? Keep going, keep going. I love it, I love it. <laughs> and, yes. Yeah. Uh, that is how we as dan dance artists imagine mm. what is our piece look like and we need to realize it into mm. yeah now for me it's a slightly different because i do know about that one or so because for me see, i like to have conversation with the costume or so because mm. this is about the old piece so it's already have a certain kind of like idea or some kind of look into it yes. for me it's like how actually the costume can influence you. Maybe you restrict you. Just now I say, you give me some frame. It's up to freedom. I have nothing to create properly. Now I have a frame. So I can have a, something to achieve. How I can want to do, be more creative about it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and for my piece, the yes. Dataika Diniari, which is really 
uh, I mean, very sentimental to me myself because it's about the funeral of the Iban people. So I need to uh, aware of the sensitivity and all of that when creating those uh, idea of the costume because. Yeah, what which color symbolize what yes. the meaning of the color itself yeah. uh, for that academy because people think funeral is about mourning, mekabung, mm. mm. mourning. Mm. Yeah, I can feel but that. In, <laughs> I know, just <laughs> in, <laughs> in, in in Iban funeral. Uh, if we are still uh, in the Funeral period, we are not yet mourning unless oh. after we bur uh, bur the, bury the burial, yeah. Yeah, the burial. After that, all must in black. Yes. <laughs> so, so what do you actually wear in funerals? Then? Uh, what is what are the colors then during the funeral? During the funeral, you can wear any color. Really? Yes, but. During the burial, yeah. Itself. yeah, that's the start of that's the morning start, period. Yeah. Either white or black. or black, yeah. And is that like thirty days, that kind of thing? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Okay, okay. I totally can feel you because I also go in through grieving because my partner just passed away four four years ago. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's nothing. It's just something they say about because everyone, if you love someone, if he die, can we should be happy for him? That's a thing actually, that's why I felt something about that, what the yes. conversation is talking about. Yeah. Sometimes people but grieving might be sad. Who told, who told us that? I mean, mm. it's respected, but it doesn't mean you have to be sad. But sad is something that is personal. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, for me, I always tell people, I'm equally happy because he's going through the full life. Yeah. Ah. yeah. So thank you, thank you. That's again a very beautiful way of honoring um, yeah, yes, loss yes, and correct, grief right. as well. It's yeah. not always. Especially like a traditional thing, like the kind of thing that you bring into honor that kind of like the people that you yeah. live before. Mm. How do we respect them? Of course, we bring in our own interpretation in a certain thing mm -hmm. like way, but we bring in our heart that should connect with the past with now. Yes. And it's so yes. beautiful to see how both of you have taken that to influence mm. from the old and then yes. bringing it into your pieces. Um, so this year, um, in the, for the theme for both Cameroonian Awards is Pentas Kehidupan Meneroka Tanpa Batasan. Um, and we wanted to ask, because in Malaysia, you know, we've got some... Can we just say exploring without boundaries? Can we just say translation English to uh, Malay? Uh, so exploring good. without boundaries. Ah, boundary, yes. Exploring without boundaries. Oh, boundary, yes. oh boundary. that's good. Something. I don't know, right? <laughs> that's my team. The life of the stage. So, so, you know, in Malaysia, we've got so many cultures and mm. ethnicities mm. and all these kind of things. So, there's, there's this debate, lah, you know, cultural mm. appropriation and all those kind of things. Um, contemporary debate. Uh, but is it okay, for example, for for me as an Indian to wear uh, something from the Iban community, uh, from the Chinese community? Is that a way of us pushing the boundaries? Is it okay? Is it good? What are your thoughts on it? For me, actually, it's a. I mean, if you think about we wear it because of that kind of intention that we want to push the boundary, of mm. course you are fighting for something. Mm. But you wear it because of you actually, you yourself come, come from your own spirit. They want to embrace something, be happy about it. Why not? Yeah. yeah, it's about how actually you feel about it, not because you want to fight for something. I always believe if you fight for something, you're no different from the, the other side you're fighting for. <laughs> yes. It's about embracing. Yes, thank you. Embracing. Andrew, any thoughts? Culture appropriation. Yes. <laughs> Let's yes. get into it. Yeah. <laughs> like in class. Yes, yes. Yeah. Appropriation, for me in Malaysia, the uh, kind of term is still in slip, slippery yes. term. Yes, yes. Mm. Because sometimes we don't know the intention of the, 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 yeah, the, yeah. the exactly. person. Exactly. Is it? He or she or they mm. want to do uh, appreciation mm. or yes. appropriation. Yep, correct. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yes, the ethnicity, the racial line. Mm. In Malaysia, it's so blur. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you. like just now I say, we actually bring in a, the, the pure intention. You not bring in because to, for the fight's sake. Mm. Then you are actually no different than you, what you fight for. Yeah. You are, if you bring in the heart, they try to embrace 
to have something that aha, uh, I want to know more about you. Yes. The, that, that one for me is the respect from the heart. Well, thank you so much for your thoughts. I think that was, <laughs> that was such a beautiful way of saying embracing uh, uh, different cultures and yes, ethnicities, yeah. putting it into our works. Mm -hmm. Uh, because at the end of the day, it's about pre appreciating yeah. the beauty that is yes, yes. Malaysia, the colors Malaysia. of Malaysia. And like now, like what we're doing now with the project, how actually we, as a group, actually yes. for me, it's being nominated is not only one person. It's mm. a whole group. Mm. The whole actually the in input for a whole team mm. that actually bring in to appreciate something from the past. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. And also recognize the practices yes. of yeah. our you know our brothers and sisters in Sabah and Sarawak that we I'm from Sabah. You know, <laughs> oh really? Oh nice. Well I'm hey Sabah. pure Malaysian representation here man. This is so cool. Thank you so much oh, for joining you, us. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations again on your Thanks nomination. So much. Thank you. Thank you.